Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to uh, discuss about uh, how to detect uh, DOM-based cross-site scripting vulnerabilities, uh, which is essentially a client-side uh, security vulnerability. And I'll show you how to install, configure, and run a tool called Ra.2 that I have designed and have uh, presented um, at a security conference in India called Nulcon in 2012. So uh, in this video, uh, I'm also going to show you how uh, this tool uh, detects uh, DOM-based uh, cross-site scripting issues in your web applications and how you can um, uh, detect them and uh, essentially verify them whether they are uh, uh, true security issues pointed out by the tool and finally you can figure out how or where is the evil code that is responsible for this uh, for the vulnerability that exists in your application and uh, which essentially means uh, you can pinpoint into the specific uh, part of the code in your application which is responsible for um, uh, which is responsible for letting this uh, security vulnerability come up. <clears throat> so in this uh, video, I have, uh, um, I'll, I'll start with installing uh, the tool uh, Radar2 uh, right from, uh, from downloading it from the website, configuring it and then running tool uh, so that uh, you get to know how you can uh, do the same or install the tool in your own uh, uh, systems. Uh, so let us just start uh, by going to, uh, uh, well, you can just start and search for ra.2dom accesses scanner. And it goes to, this is the first URL in the Google page, search results, and you can go straight in here. Here I'm using basically, uh, Mac OS uh, X so uh, the one thing to note here is uh, this uh, uh, add-on uh, though it's a Mozilla Firefox add-on is supposed to be uh, platform independent should be can be installed on any OS um, but here there is a slight hiccup uh, that uh, the way we have written the code and the um, there are some issues with the add-on which uh, we have not uh, really thought of uh, compiling this into our self uh, installing or self executing installer so what i have done is we have provided source code uh, for each of these uh, uh, platforms like windows and for uh, mac os and there is also for uh, um, for linux uh, which is there in this tool uh, in this package uh, so uh, let's just now go and start uh, downloading the source for Mac OS okay. so here I'm gonna start with uh, okay so this is the uh, zip uh, extract it here and uh, so these are the files you get inside the zip okay so let us just start and read the readme text so basically you need to copy the entire ra2 ra2 folder to user shared okay so let's go and do that first thing okay, copy ra2 and then go to your Mac hard disk, then you go to users and then shared. You paste it here. Okay, and the second thing is co then copy the raw dot two dom access scanner dot app file from inside the folder. So basically, you can cut this file or maybe copy. You can do whatever you want, but just uh, we'll do copy because this is the you know, file that instructs or lets the browser know that you have uh, this add on to be installed so we can do that and uh, it has to be installed uh, um, in Firefox so what you can do is uh, next thing we do is uh, 
will have to type about that support in the URL person hit enter okay let's just do that about dot support about uh, sorry I'm sorry uh, it's about colon support <coughs> okay so now when you have to go is uh, under the application basics section so this is the application basics section click on this show show in finder and the profiles folder so this is the profile folder and we have show in finder okay so we got uh, this is the basically the Firefox profile for my uh, installation now next thing is then the open design profile and paste it in the uh, extension folders basically we have copied this file and we have to paste it in uh, extension folder so this is the extension folder now paste it here okay uh, now it's time to restart uh, the browser so just let's just quit Firefox and if everything works we should see uh, Firefox have installed the add-on okay so you can see this as asking us to install this add-on we can we want this uh, installation to continue and then we want to restart it again okay now that we can see this uh, a tool has been installed okay uh, so the now the next thing we want to do here is <coughs> uh, just continue reading this readme file so after installation uh, you, so right now you can start and scan a particular URL but if you want uh, if you are interested in um, scanning batch URLs say uh, you have a file containing a line separated uh, file containing the number of URLs you want to scan and um, automatically for those URLs you can <coughs> do that in uh, go to that folder uh, users um, okay so let's just start from the beginning macOS users shared and raw to and <coughs> we have raw to accesses there's a folder called accesses and then there is we have a folder called urls so urls these are the list of example files uh, you can specify your urls like this which you want to scan for the accesses uh, so these are basically example files that I have hosted on my website uh, so I forgot to uh, mention there is one more file I have created here I'll just uh, copy so they are now total of seven files I'll just rename it to seven and then I'll save it okay good okay so well this is the ex extensive list of uh, vectors if you want to scan but for this demo I have prepared a smaller set of uh, you know um, uh, vectors for you just to quicken up the scan so now that we are good to go uh, we will now start scanning so I'll just start with <clears throat> okay so one thing we forgot to do is Go to the folder and we have so we go to the website again and there is uh, this thing called this reporting tool which we need to download <coughs> yes we need to download this okay so now that it's downloaded So this is the reporting tool uh, we have the tool now this is this uh, sql file that you want to import into our database and uh, this is the uh, web reporting thing now, so now the second thing we can do is you have to have a setup uh, a local <coughs> uh, web server where you can host this reporting tool so for now i will just start hosting it here so i'll start apache i will go back to my uh, username and password okay that now my uh, apache and my screen are running uh, you can go to <coughs> so localhost okay so that uh, zap is running okay now uh, what i'll do is i'll go here uh, sorry, I'll go here, applications folder, 
and then you have XAMPP. Double click that file and go to HD Docs. So here I have this XSS file uh, folder already. So I'll, for, for the same, sake of demo, I'll just delete it. Uh, to trash okay uh, now what I'll do is I'll copy this thing we just downloaded copy accesses and I will paste it here I have this thing <coughs> and secondly I'll go to localhost uh, php my admin and this is the database that we have created so what I'll do is I'll just drop this table database and uh, so that for the sake of demo I'll start uh, creating a new one so you have to create a new database called XSS if you want a different name you can change it in the source code obviously create it now we need to import the schema we just downloaded so our downloaded schema is here the db schema dot skill file have to browse here and then go to downloads and then we have reporting tool db schema dot schema dot skill okay and then we click go okay so our uh, table looks like reporting table looks like this <coughs> so again uh, now for now we are all done for testing so just to be safe I will uh, restart Firefox again okay now you are good to go now I'll uh, hit this thing scan from file because we have already uh, specified the file here um, uh, that's here um, yeah, so this is the URLs file that we will be going to scan all these URLs. Um, now that Apache is and everything are running, I'll just cross check mm, localhost. Um, yep. So uh, just to check that my reporting tool is active, we can go to localhost slash accesses uh, slash uh, summary dot php. Okay. Okay, now everything is great. So let's close this and then let's start the scan. <coughs> so you can see uh, that it uh, fuzzes each, it takes each page, each URL from the file and then fuzzes it with uh, a string. So basically we'll have a smaller set of vectors for uh, this demo video but you can obviously uh, modify it as you please now in the meantime while it's scanning all the urls i'll just show you want to show you something that here uh, this is the actual uh, uh, script uh, that we are running so now uh, if you want to specify a different server for uh, you know um, for your reporting you have posted somewhere else now you can directly I'm sorry excuse me uh, so uh, you can uh, <coughs> uh, go ahead and uh, change the server location where you want to you know uh, uh, where you have hosted your uh, reporting tool so you can do that and you can just simply do a find and localhost and do the find local so we have hard coded to the source code uh, so you need to change here this is the here you know change and uh, secondly you have to find it again And the command G to change once here, and then second time here, and then third time here. 
yep so there's three times you have to change so you're going to save the file and you're good to go and you can point it to any uh, you know the menu you want okay so let's close this thing um, okay Oh. so that's the uh, list of all the you know uh, urls it, it found vulnerable to dom accesses uh, so as you can as you, as you uh, saw so this this is a uh, not very well written tool a very well written um, reporting tool so not that much I I catch here uh, it looks pretty ugly so uh, whatever you may you're free to change uh, you have the source code of that uh, PHP file basically you can change as you please the source code and uh, times maybe it has some this reporting tool might have uh, accesses uh, itself <laughs> anyway so you can uh, go ahead and fix it so just uh, this is just a quick demo Okay, so now let's just go to and uh, verify uh, one of these uh, URLs and see if it is uh, actually a issue. And if you go here and you see that when you click this thing, you actually see a lot pop. So you now know that this uh, particular um, URL is actually vulnerable. Uh, now the thing is that, uh, say we now know the uh, particular URL is vulnerable to DOM accesses but how do you know where exactly uh, the problem is uh, where exactly the bad code is or evil code is and how can you fix that thing so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh, a trick uh, or use an idea that uh, i stumbled upon uh, last week and which uh, I, I think can be used to uh, help the developers to some extent uh, and that uh, idea is say we have this particular URL vulnerable URL and what we'll do is I'll just copy this thing and uh, I'll go to Chrome and paste this URL okay so now this is URL encoded so what I'll do is I'll copy this thing and I'll go to and URL decode this thing so that it's and uh, I basically go here and paste in Chrome now uh, the Chrome's uh, uh, XSS filter blocks this thing and you know that because if you go to the JavaScript error console you, you see that it refused to execute a JavaScript mm, a JavaScript script uh, because the source code of the script was found within the request okay uh, so that's nice now how do we know where exactly is the problem so in, in order to do that we, we can uh, if, if it's a script tag we can we are able to execute a script tag we are also able to uh, do that thing or reproduce that thing using say a image tag now say uh, what I'll do is 1337 uh, let's say the source which is an obviously a non-existing image file and on the on error attribute i set it to alert one all right uh, some, oops, sorry so i forgot to close the tag uh, okay now it's done now for this time access to work we need to reload the page <coughs> okay even though it's not working right now but what you get to see here is uh this particular image uh what uh, 1337 was not found and a 404 was returned but if you go here it shows the page and the line number if you click here you see the line where exactly this particular problem is so basically what it does is if you look at this code piece of code where uh, parameter uh, param is equal to location that has to split one so it's taking the first uh, mm, string after the hash and uh, it's uh, doing a documented write so now we know that this particular line is actually the root cause of this problem 
similarly let us take uh, go and take a different example uh, say I'll go and take this example say dot seven dot HTML <coughs> okay so now this is the thing we have this exploit uh, let us see the page source uh, so we are doing is <coughs> Again, we are doing the same thing and we are taking a div so this is basically a div and then we are doing an inner html is equal to parameter so typically case of dom accesses now we we'll copy this thing and paste it here and then we'll do uh, let's open the console tab and let's do an open Oops, i'm sorry uh press enter and then reload the page again so we see your uh, accesses here and again we see uh, that uh, the image returned a 404 now again this is the page and we have the line number so this is the page which uh, line is automatically highlighted so basically when we are setting uh, untrusted user input to the inner html basically it creates html so this is the line we need to fix instead of uh, inner html if you just want to display the content or the data user input you can do in a text is equal to parameter so that's the idea behind how we can you know you leverage the inbuilt uh, feature of chrome uh, uh, the idea of switching to chrome is i didn't find the same uh, uh, feature available with uh, firebug here i didn't find the same thing so that is the idea behind uh, uh, this trick and this video so this uh, let just me let me just warn you this tool is in a very uh, very very um, you know uh, early stage and it's uh, not very well written so please don't uh, get mad at me and uh, I would request if you and so basically we, we uh, I'm planning to implement this thing uh, the chrome uh, trick uh, that I just showed you and uh, to integrate into the tool and automate uh, as much as we can uh, possible so there are certain uh, I would just uh, let you uh, sh show you one more thing here so there is uh, certain uh, examples where this kind this is not applicable for example um, uh, something like this uh, although th this is something the tool detects but this is not possible where you want to you know um, uh, detect with using the chrome's actual I'm sorry Uh, this is something not that is not possible. I did trying the same trick uh, like this document dot uh, write uh, image SRC is equal to one on uh, is equal to a lot on Thing. Uh, but it doesn't actually show me the uh, it actually shows me the error where it's um, how it's generated but this is not this is something that we just injected this is not a part of the code so this doesn't really work well uh, maybe we can do some uh, basically the idea is we need to generate an error uh, maybe uh, injecting a half crafted or improperly crafted payload so that the javascript console or javascript interpreter generates an error and if you if you're lucky it shows you the line number where the error is generated possibly ideally it is the line number where which is responsible for changing the dom or manipulating the modifying the dom so we can catch that line and we can really ease our detection and fixing how, how we can fix that so you need to be creative how you can do that thing maybe injecting some uh, you know um, symbols or tokens to be exact 
so this is not really going to work because it's actually an expected token so yep so <clears throat> it doesn't really show the exact so these are some of these uh, 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 tricks where uh, these are some of the situations where this this trick doesn't really work well uh, but maybe uh, it's just me I'm in a hurry or I'm not I mean, uh, be more creative so if you guys find any um, better ways to figure it out do, do let me know in this uh, comments below so yeah so that was all I had to show for for today in this video so hope to see you next time and uh, do let me know uh, if, if you like the effort and uh, I know this tool is not a definitely not a solution to the uh, problem in, as a whole but what I feel is this is uh, I feel is uh, some help is better than no help so just um, just I'm just trying my effort to be as uh, as much of help I, I can be so hope you guys liked it and the, and the concept um, behind this tool is is to be uh, very very effective and very easy to use for anybody and uh, I don't want to really uh, make this uh, testing or fixing things to be very much complicated stuff for developers or the testers to understand so that is my point uh, that was my point in building this tool and uh, so that was all for the, today's video thank you so much